What does all this mean? It means that we are headed toward perfect capitalism. And in perfect capitalism, intellectual capitalism becomes more important than commodity capitalism. Tony Blair likes to say that England derives more revenue from rock and roll than it does the coal mining industry. Think about that. Look at food. Food is a commodity. Today you had breakfast that the king of Spain could not have had a hundred years ago. That's how cheap food is today. So commodities are getting cheaper and cheaper every year. But intellectual capital, computers, science, art, music, intellectual capitalism is becoming more and more valuable. So who will be rich and who will be poor in the future? The countries which will be poor in the future are countries which only rely on commodities like food. Food is getting cheaper and cheaper every year. But intellectual capital, the power of the mind, is becoming more and more precious, more and more expensive. And that's why Colombia is at a crossroads. Colombia can leap into the future, but only if it understands the relationship between commodity capital and intellectual capital. So for Colombia, what is the lesson? First, education. We must educate people for the future. The future is going to be more scientific, not less scientific. First is education for Colombia. Second, we must allow entrepreneurs, innovators, scientists, engineers, businessmen to flourish in the future, to create new industries, new Silicon Valleys, innovation, entrepreneurs to create industries to hire more workers. That's number two. Three, the government has to get out of the way. The response of politician is tax, 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 regulate, 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 okay? That's not the way to create wealth. Wealth has to be encouraged. Wealth has to have a nudge. We have to have less regulation, not more regulation, to allow companies to flourish to create jobs, because that's where the jobs of the future are going to come from. And fourth, fourth, the nature of the jobs will change. Less farming and more and more intellectual capital, the capital of the mind. We must have both. We have to have food, metals, commodities, oil, but we also have to liberate ourselves with the power of the mind because capitalism itself is changing from commodity capital to intellectual capital. 